A Hollywood career that had spanned for over five decades, receiving five Oscar nominations and one Best Actress Oscar at the age of 25. Jennifer Jones garnered fame and fortune very suddenly with the help of producers and publicists to stir media attention. Even since 1940s, media in America was centered on actresses' lives. This created Hollywood actresses as celebrities. Even since early Hollywood days, executives knew how to mastermind simple actresses and actors into celebrity status. This was certainly the case for Jennifer Jones. Her career and life has been compared to Vivian Lee, who also had a tumultuous life. You can check out my earlier video release about Vivian Lee too. Jennifer Jones found herself in David O. Selznick's casting studio in New York City to audition for the role of Scarlett O'Hara, which ultimately went to Vivian Lee. Jennifer Jones and her first husband, both actors who were about to quit acting, after unsuccessful attempts to succeed in the movie industry, but was saved by Selznick's attraction to Jennifer from this audition. Her naivety and youthful look pushed Selznick to pursue Jones to sign a seven-year contract with him. On the contrary to Selznick's beliefs, Jennifer had very little confidence in her acting abilities. But from this moment, Selznick served as her lord and savior, who transformed and groomed Jones into the star that the world would soon be introduced to. Jones signed the contract in 1941 at the age of 22. Two years later, she starred in her headlining role of Bernadette Subiru in A Song for Bernadette. It is to this day one of the highest grossing films. She won this role over hundreds of other applicants and on her 25th birthday, she won the Best Actress Oscar in 1944. She beat Joan Fontaine and Grey Garson, who won previous years, and Ingrid Bergman, who would win the following year. To Jennifer, this win was a shock. She said this later in her life about her sudden rise to fame. When you're young, you're full of hope and dreams. Later, you begin to wonder. I did the song of Bernadette without knowing what was going on half of the time. It was obvious that Jennifer was a right fit for other great productions. So her impressive performances in films like Since You Went Away, Love Letter and Duel in the Sun were justified with consecutive Oscar nominations in 45, 46 and 47. All were diverse roles which showed Jones's ability to be a chameleon on screen. It's true that David O. Selznick and Jones had a special relationship because he really invested and nurtured Jones's career. Furthermore, behind closed doors, they were having an affair, which resulted in them getting married in 1949. By this point, Jones was already divorced and with two children. And this marriage reminds me of Norma Shearer, who I previously covered, and her hypergamous marriage to Irving Thalberg. Both Oscar-winning actresses knew that their marriage would give them lots of security and elevation. In Selznick's biography called Showman, apparently she was so meek, so young, so lovely, so entirely ready to be David's creation that she left all the responsibility with him. Selznick and Jones continued to cultivate successful and also unsuccessful films throughout the 1950s. Carrie, Ruby Gentry, Madame Bovary, Terminal Station, and Love is a Splendid Thing, for which she got nominated her final time for the Best Actress Oscar. Selznick had retreated from show business and eventually passed away in 1965. And as a result, Joan's career went downhill. In 1967, she attempted to kill herself. A few years later, in 1971, Jones remarried and rarely appeared on screen. Nonetheless, she was nominated for a Golden Globe for her performance in Towering Inferno in 1974. This slow departure from the big screen and bustling with gossip Hollywood was good for Jones because she was never a fan of being in the center of public attention. Her long career of being under the microscope came to an end when she focused on other things like establishing the Norton Simon Museum in name of her multi-millionaire businessman husband. 
She spent her time collecting art. Jones said this, Most interviewers probe and pry into your personal life, and I just don't like it. Jones's aloof and go-with-the-flow attitude made her stand out among the trying, hard-to-impress starlets. That is why she remained in the limelight for so long. Although her name cannot be uttered without having David O. Selznick coming to mind, she still has a diverse talent on screen. Her reserved attitude in real life was contrasted on screen when she would dominate all of her films.